It's not uncommon for sick cats to be severely anemic for a variety of reasons. And in that circumstance, really the only way that we can treat them in the short term is to give them red blood cells from another cat. In an acute setting, in an emergency, we do need to give them a transfusion. So this applies, for example, to patients that have experienced a trauma and lost blood. It's often also appropriate for cats undergoing a big surgery where they lose blood. And then for other causes of anemia, like cats that have cancer or that have anemia associated with blood parasites and things like that. So just like people, cats have a variety of different blood types. The most common blood types in cats are type A, type B and type AB. A and B are the most common blood types in cats and most of our cats in Perth are A, but there's also a decent proportion of B cats. So we have a range of criteria that we like our cats to meet. They've got to be within the ages of one and seven. We want them over a certain weight. So over four and a half kilos is our ideal weight. We also like our cats to be uh, fully vaccinated and on flea preventative and ideally we'd like them to be indoor cats although we recognise that that's not always the case and we're quite prepared to have cats on our donor program that are both indoor and outdoor cats. Healthy cats that fit in with the criteria suitable for donation can donate as frequently as 10 to 12 weeks. The average cat blood donation is 54 mils. So it's up to about 20% of their total blood volume and we're able to take that amount quite safely but obviously it's a very small volume compared to what we could take from a dog or a person. Once we've got the IV in and given them some sedation, we clip a little patch of fur on their neck and then a needle is inserted in and the blood donation is collected. Because cats are not very good at drinking to make up for the volume of blood that we've taken from them, we do give them some IV fluids. Unlike with a person where you can just make sure they have a drink before they go home, cats don't do that for us on command. So we give them a little bit of IV fluids and once they're awake from their sedation and feeling well, we send them home again. Mm -hmm.